God, what are we doing? Stop, stop this very instant. Mm -hmm. Let it all hang out. out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Please, how are all y'all doing today? Doing really good, how are you? I'm doing good. I didn't know I was gonna be walking into a therapy session with Barbie, but I felt very enlightened afterwards. Yeah. Well, so I'm here for that. Oh, That's good, great. good. And one good. of the things that I enjoy about it is it's kind of like you don't have to fit into this box. Like mm -hmm. you grow up, people tell you these are the things that you're supposed to do. And if you don't follow that path, people think that you're crazy. Yeah. And I wanted to know for all of you, because you've all been so successful in this industry and also in creating your own lanes, like what was that moment for you when you kind of learned to celebrate what makes you different? Oh boy. I feel like for me, it's like every couple months I'm like, oh, I can do that. Oh, oh, I can do that. Like it's been, it, constantly an evolution of like unlearning what mm we all grew up mm -hmm. thinking about ourselves and about everyone around us and like yeah. uh, figuring out that there's room to just be all of who you are. I mean, my God, what are we doing? Stop, stop this very instant. Mm -hmm. Let it all hang out. out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> this is over. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably say in my 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 twenties and to Kate's point, like it, so much of just my evolution has been uh, forgiving myself for certain things and recognizing and desiring that that I will get better, that I am getting better, like and giving myself the grace to just have the time to do that. But it's it's tough. It's it's it really takes a lot of obviously self work and reflection, but. Um, I'd say that the the start of understanding that happened mid twenties. Mm, that's great. Um, yeah, I mean, I I don't know. When I was like twenty, I was working a lot and suddenly kind of was not enjoying it anymore and had to like hit pull the brake actually. Um, and that felt like a good moment. It did feel like it was a big problem, you know, for a lot of people. Even my parents were kind of confused. Everybody was like, "What are you doing?" But I feel like ultimately it was a good thing for my sanity. And it is good to kind of take ownership of what you want, but you know, um, not always the most obvious thing. But yeah, yeah. but but I'm I'm I think my life took took a good course when I did that, so I'm really mm -hmm. glad I did. I like that you bring that up though, because even with your two characters, you know, you kind of ostracize a little bit, but you kind of made peace with it. Like you're kind of yeah. at peace with like you know who your character is and how they kind of you know move through Barbie Land. So I want to know for all of you, like, what do you do for your own like mental peace? Like, how do you make sure that you're practicing self-care? How much, How do you make sure that you're still accepting yourself and meeting yourself where you're at now? I drink a lot. <laughs> um, I surround myself with loved ones. You know, I think it's, like, for me, that's a, a restoration of sorts of just, like, who I am and when I'm most happy. And that is, like, so much, so much of my joy comes from, from them. Yeah, that's really important. Walking, gardening. Oh, gardening has changed my entire life. But that's mm. another junket. That's really good. That's <laughs> I feel really like that's good. That's the whole show. You know, yeah. Gardening is like in right now. Uh -huh. I'm terrible at it. But uh -huh. I like to watch people garden. I like to see their gardens and what they're making. Uh -huh. What is interesting about that? to you i think it's interesting like knowing that you took something and you created something on your own like you i see people life. like i did that mm -hmm. i made this pumpkin patch like you feel like it's I'm, I, that's not so terrible you feel like god for a little bit like yeah, i created no, yeah. life i put <laughs> something good out into the Absolutely. world it's incredible mm -hmm. but i'm terrible at gardening that would never Same. be me oh, but i want to live that. through you that's beautifully said <laughs> But also, too, I mean, we're in Barbie. So, like, what were you, what was that first thing that you needed to do to make yourself feel like, I'm in Barbie land now, this is real? What was that moment for you on set when you were just like, I can't believe I'm in this movie? Getting into the look is definitely a big part of it. When I, You know, you show up, you figure out your hair, your clothes. I mean, doing the wardrobe meeting was actually, for me, was like the thing that pulled me into the, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the world in a big way. And then you step onto set looking like that, and you're just like, what, you know? I am not myself anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm not in my reality anymore. Yeah. For me, like, wearing pink, pink was always, like, femininity. And I always felt like I'm shut out of pink. Pink is not for me. And then I was like, wow, can I reclaim pink as just as a celebration of life and vitality that is 
for everyone? Um, and I think the answer is and must be yes. And like now I'm all I'm not wearing it right now. <laughs> I could, I could, and that would and that would fit. And so now I love pink. Yeah, I get it. I get pink. <laughs> yeah, like Michael said, so much of the look. Uh, one of the most, I guess, one of the most pleasant surprises was walking on to set and seeing everybody else's Barbie because I was kind of in my head about what my Barbie looks like. The wig was tried on separately for, versus the makeup and then the clothes. Mm. And so going in my trailer and seeing the full look was like, oh, mm. okay. And then walking onto the set was like, oh, all these Barbies look so different and beautiful. Mm. And it just, it, I felt like a, a doll in a dollhouse. Mm. Look, you was killing it. I like the the cowhide one, like the cow one. I was like, I said, I was you better like, start it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and yes, to reclaim it. Pink. We gonna reclaim pink. Yeah. I've only just discovered pink, so I'm kind of here with you on that. I just mm -hmm. rediscovered it. But look, I want to thank y'all so much. This thank means you. so much. Like that y'all took time out of your day to speak with me. I appreciate you, thank and I'm just sending you. so much love and light your way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.